you should all know that what are the options after gate what you would get after gate so first thing is that you would get access to all the psus right you can apply to psus give the interview and you can get a job from gate exam you have to complete a syllabus and make sure that it would be completed before september or october and why i am saying that uh, cramming a formula or anything would not help you to solve gate exam you would see you would understand all those things when you once you start your preparation and you would go through that particular concept and its gate questions hello students in this video we are going to discuss about how to start your gate preparation for 2023 so we are going to discuss for csit and da both because students are asking that how to start and what would be the flow for the whole year to start your preparation so in today's video we are going to discuss all those things but to start a preparation one thing is required that motivation right so you should all know that what are the options after gate what you would get after gate so first thing is that you would get access to all the psus right you can apply to psus give the interview and you can get a job from gate exam right and then you get the chance for mtech ms or phd from top colleges right tier 1 colleges and all students wants to go to those colleges like iits nits triple it so all those colleges take students from gate exam for their mtech ms and phd and also you would get in depth knowledge of all the subjects like you would see in cs you have c++ data structures or all those languages in uh, data science you have python right so you can see that all those knowledge you would get after uh, covering the syllabus of gate exam then you would have in depth knowledge that would also be helpful in your interview and further in your career as well so this in depth knowledge is very helpful because you would see all the subjects of gate exam are made accordingly so that would be helpful in future right for gate da they have uh, introduced here their maths and machine learning and artificial intelligence so if you would know all those subjects that would helpful in future as well similarly for c i already told you that there is a c language data structures and operating system computer network all those subjects you would see that that would be helpful in future and as well as in interviews for your college right and then we have resume vintage right so if you would add that you have cracked this gate exam with this particular rank right that would make a weightage on your resume because you have cracked then all india exam right and that is a great thing right so that's why all the all these things you would get after gate so that's why we usually suggest students to prepare for gate because uh, that all those things you get and one thing you get is as a complimentary that is your confidence boost after clearing this competitive exam you would feel like that you have done something and that would boost your confidence right so these are the option but the question is that how to start the journey of gate preparation right so first point comes is syllabus completion right you have to go through all the uh, subjects right uh, like <coughs> gate cs has 11 subject gate da has seven subjects so you have to be uh, first decide that either you are going for cs or da and you can apply for both as well right so you have to complete your cs in eleven subjects so it's up to you how you want to uh, how you want to study all those eleven subjects it can be either videos or books or articles lectures anything right we usually do not prefer books because books have a uh, deeper knowledge right and it has broader uh, topics covered uh, but we have to study for the gate exam accordingly so that's why we have to be topic specific they have mentioned in gate syllabus so that's why you have to prepare only those topics that are in gate so you have to complete the syllabus so you can prefer lectures or you can uh, go for a book which is curative uh, especially for gate exam right so first is syllabus completion you have to complete a syllabus and make sure that it would be completed before september or october and why i am saying that now you would ask that ma'am later on what would we do what you would do you would revision with pyqs and subjective test um one thing you can see here the syllabus completion this in the syllabus completion you have to while completing your syllabus you have to solve questions as well and you have to solve previous year questions 
right so that you would know that whatever you are learning whatever you are completing the syllabus either you are able to solve questions or not because in gate exam you have to solve questions right so syllabus completion with questions practice right and whatever left from here whatever previous year questions left from here you would solve in the second one right up in october month october and november month right revision with pyqs and subjective test because you have uh, completed all the subject now you have to revise with previous year question and subjective test and then later on you would move to this test series and like full test series that means full mock test you have to give so what is the plan till september or october you would complete your whole syllabus but the journey for syllabus completion is long right so you have to like if you have 11 subjects so divide that accordingly that in a month you are going to complete one or one and half subject if it is big then one subject if it is not big then you can complete either two subject as well so make plan accordingly right but syllabus completion is not like you have to study from uh, first to end and then forget about it no you have to practice questions with syllabus completion let's say you are working uh, on mathematics engineering mathematics linear algebra you are studying then you have to solve questions based on eigen values matrices determinant you have to solve all the questions while studying the topic because practicing question help you to remember the topic for a longer time right and whenever you are studying second or third subject let's say you have completed one subject and you have started with second subject if you have started with second subject and let's say if in a day you do not want to study or anything like that you can take one hour to revise that first subject right and whenever you are on third subject or if you are taking two subjects simultaneously as well then you can find some time to revise previous subjects so just go through it make some notes while studying or uh, get some notes from your faculties or anyone then you can use those notes to revise right and prefer only one uh, note because if you would go for different notes then they can make according to a different faculty then there might be a possibility that uh, you would get some confusion or anything like that then it would take uh, more time to understand right so revise those notes and so that you would not forget the concept right and yeah practicing is important practice and practice right then you would be able to solve questions in case so these are the three steps this is you have to complete till september or october take revision with pyqs and subjective test till november and then in december and january you have to revise test series with full mock right you have to work on you have to give test series not revise you have to give test series you have to give full mock test and then you would analyze we'll see we'll discuss this journey for test series later on whenever it is required but right now this labor completion step is required so i'll suggest you start as soon as possible because you have to complete the syllabus uh, till september or october uh, then some points you have to keep in mind what are those points planning and scheduling so i told you that what should be the process that you have to complete the syllabus till september or october so you have to make a plan that uh, till when you would complete that particular subject or either if you are taking a coaching from any particular uh institute then they would give you the proper uh, plan you have to make or you have to use your plan with uh, use their plan with uh, you as well like whenever they are completing the subject make sure you would also complete the subject because teacher is teaching it does not uh, meant that that you are also getting you have to revise it again uh, at home or by yourself and you have to practice question if you do not practice question you would not get the concept so planning and scheduling and set a realistic goal that is very important i always tell students somebody says ma'am i am not taking coaching any coaching and i am completing i'll complete in uh, i'll complete a subject in 10 days that is not like uh, there might be a possibility for a particular subject but let's say you say that ma'am i'll complete whole engineering mathematics in five classes that is not possible in, in five days that is not possible right if you would set unrealistic goals that would demotivate you and you would feel that you would not be able to give gate exam or anything like that so that would demotivate you and it's a long journey i told you that you have to be consistent till september or october till you complete your syllabus so set realistic goals and stick to the schedule right 
uh, in your schedule take one day off in a week or like that as well so that you would be able to take rest or anything but whatever schedule you would make just stick to it just stick to it and uh, focus on building strong fundamentals what is important that you would know what are fundamentals right of a particular subject because when you solve questions in gate exam fundamentals would help you because uh, cramming a formula or anything would not help you to solve gate exam you would see you would understand all those things when you once you start your preparation and you would go through that particular concept and its gate questions right practice and revision so that is important that uh, whatever subject you are studying you are solving questions for that you are solving daily practice problems dpps and your constantly revision is going on or all those things and time management i already told you in planning and scheduling that time management is important because you have to complete your syllabus till september or october <coughs> next thing is that let's suppose teacher is teaching teacher has solved the question on board or everything she has she or he has done right uh unless you would not solve questions by yourself unless you would not study by yourself you are not going to get it or it is it does not matter how many concepts you have studied how much time you have given to concepts if you are not going to utilize that concept for practice so concepts or practice if i talk about anything they are both equally important practice is equally important as understanding the concept so when i am saying that complete your syllabus till september or october month i am not saying that complete only the concept just solve previous year questions just solve daily practice problems anything like that just solve as many questions as possible from wherever you get let's suppose uh, you have taken uh, question you are taking uh, the taking uh, suppose you are taking uh, coaching from one institute and your friend is taking from another institute then you can exchange questions as well so that you can have as many questions as possible and if you are not taking coaching as well you can take questions from all of your friends who are taking coaching so that would help you to have a set of questions right and because questions would uh, motivate you and they would help you to know that you are uh, you are totally understanding the concept or not okay so yeah concepts are equally important and if anybody wants to uh, wants a batch for gate csit or da so we have both batches and we are uh, the batches prices starting from 6999 so we have gate csit batch gate da batch gate, uh, we have placement batch as well so you can get any combo if you want gate csit with da you would get that only get csit only get da or get csit da placement if you want everything so you would get everything so if anybody any students wants to uh, get those courses so this is a gate course page and uh, this is a gate course page right you can just scan this link and you would get the information of our gate course okay so yeah that's all from my side guys thanks for joining